JJ, and this is another Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. <laughs> As you can see by the title of the video, we are going to the oh-so-magical Big Island of Hawaii. I just got back from Hawaii, and I tell you, it's an experience of a lifetime. So whether you're looking to come face to face with kaleidoscope sand, you won't have trouble finding ways to pass the time on the big island. From majestic volcanoes in Hawaii Volcano National Park, to the oh so impressive Akaka Falls, to the Eden-like Waipio Valley. The big island is full of natural wonders. In addition to the big island's hiking spots and popular beaches, there's also shopping. Swing by the Hilo Farmer's Market for an eclectic mix of Hawaiian treats and crafts. Also, stay tuned till the end of the video. I will have some really, really good tips that you can do while on the big island of Hawaii. Also, since this is Hawaii, I do tell you guys to always check the entry requirements, but Hawaii is a little bit more strict on who comes into the island. So down in the description below, there will be a link that I highly recommend that you click on for the entry requirements into the state of Hawaii. So here are the 10 amazing things to do on the big island of Hawaii. First on the list is Volcanoes National Park. The volcano, as it's loosely refers to, is two active volcanoes in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Specifically, it's Kilauea that's the real must-see. It's a 4,000 foot tall mountain. Kilauea has been spitting, spewing, and oozing since January 3rd, 1983, and the most recent has been May of 2018. Although the eruptions have stopped, Kilauea is still at the top of America's list of volcanoes to monitor. If you're going to see oozing lava, before you go, check in at the Kilauea Visitors Center for up-to-date information on trails, safety precautions, and where to expect lava flow. Number two on the list is snorkeling at night with manta rays oh my goodness guys this is by far the most majestic and one of the more affordable things to do in hawaii manta rays which look very similar like stingrays are actually much safer than stingrays they do not have the stinger or the barb at the end so they are not harmful to humans. This activity is a must do while in Hawaii. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see giant manta rays feeding and interacting with other ocean creatures up close. You can enjoy a magical moment at night with manta rays gracefully gliding through the water. Number three on the list is to visit a Kona coffee farm. I absolutely love coffee and I was super excited when I found out that you could visit Kona coffee farms on the big island. There are over 600 coffee farms on the big island and many of them offered tours. The best way is to take a tour that guides you from Kona all the way to Hilo. I went on the ultimate circle tour with the guide, Hank, who was absolutely amazing. Five, five stars for him. I will definitely leave his link below to where you can book that tour. During the tour, you'll learn about coffee growing, harvesting, and the roasting process. Number four on the list is YPO Valley and the YPO Valley Overlook. This incredibly beautiful valley on the northeastern coast of the Big Island, about 50 miles north of Hilo, has often been described as sort of a Shangri-La, almost cut off from the outside world. 
The valley about one mile wide dissects the Kohala Mountains and is difficult to reach because of the steep cliffs on the three landward sides. Strong waves make it equally unapproachable from the sea. Where the valley meets the ocean is a long black sand beach. As many of the local people will tell you, it was in this area that the movie Waterworld was filmed. There is a steep twisting road into the valley which allows access by car or by foot. Most car rental companies do not allow their vehicles to be driven down into the valley. So some people choose to walk down the road. Think twice before undertaking this adventure. It's very difficult on the way back up. This long beach with rough surf is achingly beautiful. And due to its isolation, you'll likely have it all to yourself. Number five on the list is magical stargazing on Mauna Kea which is Hawaii's highest mountain. Not only is Mauna Kea Hawaii's highest mountain, it is also home to the Mauna Kea Observatory, which is an active research facility. The temperatures here are very cold, which is a sharp contrast to the paradise below. However, you will get unparalleled views of the stars above. The summit and the visitor's information station would sit at 13,800 feet and 9,200 feet respectively can only be accessed by four-wheel drive vehicles. Most rental companies do prohibit their vehicles to go on this mountain. So the easiest way to enjoy this mountain is one of the various tours that you can take which relieves you of the most problematic issues like finding a suitable vehicle, staying warm, and parking. Number six on the list is Pahuhonua o Honuanua National Historical Park. It's located on the Kona Coast. This park is a great place to learn about island traditions. The present temple site was restored by the National Park Authorities and is a replica of the original, which dates from the end of the 18th century. The palace was a place of refuge protected by a huge wall measuring 10 feet high and 16 feet wide. This thick wall between the former palace and the sanctuary has been preserved over the centuries, with repair work being carried out in 1902 and in 1963 to 64. Using information gleaned from pictures, replica coal wood carvings of temple gods have been placed in their original positions. Attractions found on the estate include the landing place of the Royal Canoes, the Royal Kino Aeli, the stones on which the royal family played a type of Hawaiian game known as Konani, behind which the queen hid from the henchmen, but was discovered when her dog began to bark. Also on site are royal fish pond known as Hile Palalu. Burial vaults, rock carvings, and models of houses belong to the priests and the inhabitants of the city of refuge. Number seven on the list, you must see Akaka Falls State Park. Akaka Falls State Park near Hilo is home to both Akaka Falls and Kahuna Falls. The Akaka Falls free falls 442 feet high. The setting here is quite stunning with lush surroundings of tropical ferns, bamboo and orchids. The trail to the falls is conveniently paid, but it is steep and includes sections of steps. The trail, a loop less than half a mile in length, leads you past the Kahuna Falls to the top of Akaka Falls, with an offshoot which leads you to a viewing spot perfect for getting photos 
of Akaka. Number eight on the list is to take a dip at Hapuna Beach. Hapuna Beach is regarded as one of the best beaches in the country. Known for its soft white sands and ample facility, the beach is staffed with lifeguards, especially reassuring since conditions can become dangerous with a change in tide. Tourists and locals come here for sunbathing, snorkeling, swimming, and of course, some of the world's best surfing. I sunbathed at this beach and it was absolutely incredible. Number nine on the list is Waikoloa Beach Resort. Normally, I would not recommend any resorts on my top 10, but I stayed here and it blew me away. It's located on the Kona Coast. Waikoloa Beach is home to a lovely area with a number of petroglyphs. This area includes Wai Hilton Waikoloa Village, Marriott Waikoloa Village. Hilton also has beachfront villas, spectacular views. While the resort is large, guests can move around the grounds using sleek air-conditioned transit system or beautifully appointed wood-paneled boats, which cruise the canals on the ground. Art galleries here contain millions of dollars of Hawaiian oriental and other art, which is located in the King's Plaza, one of the two plazas on the property. The other is Queen's Plaza, where you can do a lot of shopping. You can even do grocery shopping if you have one of the units that have a kitchen in it. Sporting opportunities consist of two championship golf courses, tennis courts surrounded by stadium seating, and a lagoon for standing up paddleboarding and kayaking. There's also a beach tucked away, which is free, and one of the best restaurants that I ate at is Lava Lava. Absolutely incredible. They also have a fun sit down area that has all the vibes. Number 10 on the list. Now, if we're talking about Hawaii, if we're talking about the big island, we cannot forget about luau's. So on the big island of Hawaii, there are several luau's that are very high rated. I did link the top three down below. Now, the tip with luau, this is one of the activities that you have to book prior to coming to Hawaii. Reason being is that these luau's are booked for weeks in advance ahead of time. So you don't miss any of the luau's, definitely click the link in the description below and book your luau as soon as you find out that you're going to Hawaii. Now, if you find out that for one reason or another, you cannot make it to a luau, or you want a free experience at a luau, every Friday, there is a luau that is located at this mall, where you get a free hula show. Now make sure to arrive early. I will leave the link to that hula show in the description below as well. Yay, you made it to the end of the video. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this travel guide to the big island of Hawaii. If I have missed anything, there's so much to do on this island, please go ahead and comment down below. It helps more than you know. And I also wanna thank everyone for supporting this channel. We are 700 strong, almost to our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. I absolutely enjoy doing these videos for you guys, connecting with you guys in the comments below. If you have any questions on what to do on the Big Island or on any of my Travel Tuesday videos, please do not hesitate to DM me on my Instagram page. But like I say in all my videos, have a safe time 
on your trip to Hawaii. And don't forget that for Hawaii, there are specific entry requirements and I have left that in the description below. So be safe, have fun, and until next Tuesday,